Hi everyone. Hi Divas. I oh, just wanted to, to check back with you on a... This could either be a Fearless Friday or a Tea Would Talk Tuesday. And I am continuing my work on my Snoopy, uh, Snoopy tote bag. This is an interesting fabric, by the way. This is a, uh, like a nylon, uh, a nylon gabardine, a really lightweight gab. And it's not like the canvas, the heavy canvas, that the shopping bags that you get are. This is neat. It's uh, black fabric. It's very lightweight. And I could roll it up into my purse. Well, maybe after the diamonds are all on, I could easily cart it around with me and not even feel it uh, if I need the extra bag to put shopping bags in. One thing I wanted to let you know, I'm starting the colors now. I'm starting on number six and going down to one. And I wanted to show you, sometimes the sixes and the fives can look alike. But in this one, what they did, the sixes are all on a peach, a yellowy, peachy, orangey type color. And the fives are a purple. So they used the numbers, the color numbers very well in this example so that you could tell which uh, you know which one you're really supposed to be using now I there are some sixes in these little skull doodads up here I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet I have to decide that fact so you know so I'm going to think about that before I do those I'll do all the other sixes except for those so I also wanted to chat just a tiny bit and I want to do the next page or two on My Friend Fear by Mira Lee Patel. Okay. Have you practiced your, your deep breathing? Has it helped you at all? Have you gone out and done some exercise? to get rid of some of the the adrenaline and other chemicals that surge through your body when you're anxious? Have you done any of that? Have you journaled? Did, did you write anything in a journal? Oh, you can tell it's summer, folks. <laughs> the motorcycles are racing by at top speed. Again, I'm, I will be using a wax pencil with these little rhinestones because they just they don't they need the lightest touch they don't really need a heavy touch and they just respond real well to a warmed up wax pencil if I get one to stick right side up there we go okay we are getting ready this Saturday my this is June when I'm taping this my brother-in-law passed in November. He is the middle of three boys, my husband being one of them. And uh, since I'm a pastor, I'm going to be conducting the service. My brother-in-law was an atheist, and I will be doing a graveside. It, You know, my husband, let me backtrack just a second. I don't want to go too far afield here. My brother-in-law, to honor him, he was loved by so many people. Being a middle child, you know, they're the sociable ones. They're the mediators. They're the, you know, believe in the birth water stuff. They have their job to do in the family. And he, I, I always say that my husband was, was, is creative artistically, my youngest brother-in-law is creative musically <laughs> and my middle brother-in-law is creative personality wise he was a dj he delivered pizzas and he also was a dj and he didn't pass from covid no that wasn't it he there were other things that went haywire in his system he had type 2 diabetes and never took care of himself so there were other complications of his ill health that just took him in the end 
he did not value himself very much. He, he just, he didn't like himself too much, but he loved to make other people happy and loved to see everybody else having a good time. He was just one of those guys. And as a, he could have been a comedian, he could have been a DJ, a morning DJ with the best of them, I swear. So we're going to be honoring him on Saturday up at the family uh, graveyard. He was an atheist, or at least an agnostic. He called himself a recovering Catholic. Now, I don't mean to offend anyone. My husband is also a uh, recovering Catholic. And my mother-in-law passed in February. So just a few months beyond her son. Now, we will have a great graveside with her out in Arizona next month and the priest will be conducting that service so you know I, I do honor their traditions and and things like that I'm not going to interfere with that and I'm not going to criticize Dave for not having a belief right now he's the only one in the position to know <laughs> if about afterlifes and you know meeting God and all the other good things that those of us Christians really um, look forward to at a later point in our lives. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I am not ready to go. I'm telling you, I want God to. I would love it if if I would be a good enough person to let for God to let hang around for a long time. 110, 115, 120. As long as I have my my mental faculties and some of my physical faculties so that I'm not trapped in a body with a good brain and a bad body. I just, or vice versa, a good body and a, and a bad brain. I don't want the, to be a burden to anyone. But I am too curious. I'm too curious to go. <laughs> that surprised someone I told yesterday. Um, Sunday, I guess I told them. I just, I, I want to live to see what technology is going to do, what they're going to find on Mars, what are we finally going to get people uh, flying to Mars and landing on the red planet, uh, what's going to happen with our environment, um, will greenhouse gases destroy the planet or are we going to get smart and, and um, take charge of it and protect our species or endangered species and all the other kind of thing and stop blowing each other up. I know I'm, that's resonating with a lot of you. Uh, it's not just me. I am sure of that. But <clears throat> what I'm saying is I am too curious uh, to to just give up, give up my life. I'm not saying that's what my brother-in-law did. He fought, but he just... He was just a laissez-faire type of guy. Whatever will be, will be. And he didn't fight much for his own life, but he really championed others. Uh, he will be missed by a great deal of people. So I want to help those people, even if he didn't believe. I want to help those in the family and friends of his. Oh, Judas Priest, look what I did now. I am such a klutz. I bumped into the pot of... Oh, I kind of like that one there. Later. Um, the pot of goodies here. Well, alright. <sighs> and uh, basically funerals are for the living, not for the those who have passed. So it's a way to share our grief with each other, to um, celebrate the life of one pers a person we loved. And for those of us who believe in it, a way to say, see you later, not goodbye. That we'll, we'll be following along a little later. So that's what my job is on Sunday. Um, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday afternoon. Um, let's see. 
in the midst of all that, there are some TV shows I like to watch. I like to tape a whole bunch during the week and then watch later. I'm glad that I love the Discovery Channel and Discovery Plus. I like Disney Plus too, but I really like Discovery Plus. I like all the weird, the gold mining shows, the deadliest catch, the, you know, put the guys in danger type of thing, and I wonder what it would like to be, what it would feel like to be in their shoes. Um, very thankful that I'm not. <laughs> and I've been wondering what the the pandemic how that has affected the Alaskan, the people in Alaska and further states out. I like to watch Hemisphere Rescue where the Rainies go out and help others who are trying to live off the grid, get to know how to collect their, their food and whether it be wildlife or vegetables, they want to get their dwelling. It's basically food shelter, friends, family, uh, and, uh, you know, a steady enough, <clears throat> excuse me, income, fuel, that kind of thing, a steady enough uh, pace that they can survive on their own. It's neat how they, they come up with these fixes that are, like, just out of the blue. I mean recycling things and using what's already on the property and coming up with these wonderful solutions to chicken coops and well drilling and uh, building shelter and re revamping what used to be a store and making part of it a smokehouse and it, it's just fabulous to see the ingenuity that people come up with when they put their heads together I, I just think that that's where curiosity comes from when you're squeezed for solutions and you are uh, you're you are forced to use what you have to come up with what you dream about and put it together in a way that works that nobody may have thought of before that to me it's just ingenious so I love seeing that I love championing uh, those who are trying to make it. Oh, right now I'm watching Alone, where 10 people go up into the wilderness in Alaska alone. Like, I mean, no civilization up there for months at a time, and they have to overwinter there to, to survive out there as long as they possibly can. Oh, man. To see what they go through, what they eat to survive on, like, you know, are they going to um, get their fire, build their fire soon enough? Are they going to get their shelter be up before they're eaten by bears, practically? Are they not going to get sick? Are they afraid of this, that, or the other thing? It's really, it's something to watch. I like to go back into the Discovery Channel and go back and look at the old episodes and see how far... It's like watching Survivor and watching the new tricks and new situations that they put the people in to see how they will survive. I love that. Another thing I like to watch, well, I love uh, Blue Bloods and NCIS and the hospital shows and 911 shows and people helping people, good outcomes. I like some fiction ones, uh, some, what do you want to call it? They're not exactly soap opera things. I do not like daytime TV. I'm not in love with game shows. I do like the courts because they're like real life situations and you just can't understand how people can be so ignorant sometimes. Like really, you mean they didn't think of that before? They didn't know that this would be the, the consequences of their actions. Seriously? That kind of thing. Uh, so, alright, that's going to be the weekend. I'm also going to keep working on the diamond painting. The, I'm working with uh, four kids at 147. Has the 
like the advent calendar type thing all of June and I'm working one day at a time with them I'm working that out I show some pictures of that up on my Instagram I don't have it on the video I'm just starting to get that on my Instagram and Etsy, eBay, YouTube channel is all Wanda's work basket and I hope that that you like and subscribe. I hope that we get to 100 subscribers real quick so that we can so that it, I can give stuff away. I have so much stuff and I know I mentioned it before but I want to bless you with my stuff and I want to bless my family with more space <laughs> and I want to feel better in the space that I have and right now with all this clutter I can't do it so I need your help when we get to 100 subscribers and from then on I will be giving stuff away out of my stash out of my craftiness and I'll tell you ahead of time what the prize will be what the video is that you need to comment on in order to be eligible for the prize and we'll pick one at random amongst the comments that qualify and uh, I just I <laughs> I'm looking forward to that day when I can feel like I can breathe at home again and in the meantime like I said before we're going to Arizona to help my grand my father-in-law with things so I'm trying to see what I want to pack ahead <clears throat> do I need any toiletries but I can get them out there can I am I going to need a special ID to get on the plane because I can't find my passport for some reason um what am I going to pack if I pack more than a week's worth of clothes it, you know, is my husband going to be upset I can't stand wearing the same thing all the time but I do like mixing and matching things so that it looks like I'm wearing something new even if I am not and knowing that it's going to be hot during the day in July in Arizona and cold at night in July in Arizona I'm going to bring you with me I'm going to create some devotions out there for my other YouTube channel the one I share with a bestie called Drawing Nearer. It's on prayer and spiritual disciplines and creativity and art and mixing them all up to have spiritual experiences to open ourselves more to spirit in our lives. So not only am I into this creativity I like to do things that open ourselves to a deeper spiritual life. So if you want are interested in that join us over at drawingnearer.com uh, well, that's the website that we're still revamping, but drawing near at YouTube. And we are revamping our website and getting some things online. Some freebies as well as uh, like our book that we've already written, co-written. We want to offer that for sale up on there. On Etsy, I have all kinds of things too. All right, enough promotion. I'm done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.